Hello! Welcome back to Draconia. Seven long months have passed since we last visited this ambitious new open world dragon MMO, one of the first of its kind. And with that, we saw potential in its rawest form, with very little money raised to back that dream. Granted, I believe their Kickstarter only raised around $27,000. Since then, they've made and customized an entirely new map with custom-made assets. They've polished old dragons, and they've made what I can only describe as a cataclysmic weather system. <laughs> this is- Oh my god! You'll see more on that later. It is insane. They've also made a new questing-based leveling system and growth system on top of that, though it is still pretty basic in functionality. And finally, the Eastern Dragon is now playable. In all honesty, I could sit here and list off a metric ton of changes and updates from their update log, but I'd rather just jump in. So, Let's grow an Eastern Dragon. All right, so we have a number of different dragons, and now we have the Eastern Dragon. Looking quite ugly right now, if I do say so myself. Okay, so we jump into the world's ugliest looking dragon, but I'm going to fix that, I hope. Let's go ahead and give this thing teeth and horns right away. There's a lot of customization you can do to these dragons as well. You're gonna see that briefly, but if you try this out yourself, you will be blown away because I'm actually pretty impressed. Every color region we see right here, we can actually modify and turn completely different from what you see right now. And it is a very in-depth color system as well as I had seen in the previous video. This isn't anything new, but you can change the saturation and the intensity of it. I am very surprised. So I'm going to go ahead and color my dragon how I want it. And then I'll revisit once I'm doing the attachments for horns and claws and teeth and all of that fun stuff. I should also mention there's a variety of models. This one has more feather-like patterns on it. And then this one, if I change, has more of a scale-like design on it. Personally, I like this feather pattern a lot more. We have a couple selections when it comes to horns. We have long pointy ones, these ones which I think are my favorite, and then some shorter, stubbier ones as well. And I do want to make a note, well, I'm going to keep these ones. I do want to make a note that there is actually a face attachment here as well, where you can change another set of horns by your eyebrows. Or if you want, you can give yourself hair. Personally, I don't really like the hair. I'm going to see if I can make it work because it's kind of cool, but... I, I prefer the horns personally. I honestly do love the customization in this. Like, it's so great. There's also a whisker attachment for this guy as well. There are ears too, but I really don't like the ears. We're not even going to touch those. There are back spikes too. Some of them are a little bit more embellished than others. I like these ones personally, but I'm sure there's a preference for everyone. I'll give myself some claws and leave those the same color. And I can actually change the tip of my tail as well to have feathers, I think. Uh, one big feather... And that's it. And this is my fully customized dragon. I love the customization system in this. It is so in-depth if you're creative with color patterns. I know some of you probably hate what I chose. I kind of like it, but I'm also not very good with colors. I did want to make a note that they do have some cosmetics as well that you can attach to your dragon if you want to, at least this species specifically. And I know my other one has a couple bone attachments as well, but I'm not really a fan of this personally, and I don't know what miscellaneous does. Like, it doesn't... I don't see anything specifically here at a glance. Not saying it doesn't do anything, it's just I don't see anything. But I think for a first dragon, this is pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that and we're going to enter the world. Oh my God. Hello, you are very pretty. I will never be that pretty once I grow up, but I will look somewhat like you, so that's cool. It looks like you have that legendary scepter attached as well, so you have a, a light source. Unfortunately, it seems I've joined the game while it's nighttime. I'm gonna wait until daytime, and then we will just check out what's been done. Okay, I lied, I know. It's still a little bit dark, but I wanted to take a moment because I was just sitting here looking around, and I mean, compared to last time I played this game about seven months ago, this is beautiful. I think this is just absolutely gorgeous with the ambient lighting now and all of this stuff placed down into the world and just the better world lighting. I think this is gorgeous. I really do. I hope you feel the same way. Okay, now when I see you, it'll be daytime. Daytime is approaching, so we're able to see this dragon now in the actual game world. We get a better look at the environment around as well. Everything seems pretty standard right now. There is a lot of new stuff that I've noticed too, and there's some things I can interact with, like a bag. I can open that, and ew, the chat box is in the way, but there's bone meal in it, and whatever that's supposed to be. I'm just going to drag these over into my inventory if I can. There's another bag on the table. We can explore these bags. I'm pretty... Whoa, hang on. I think I just took that one. Did I take that? 
Oh, okay. I took a large bag. <laughs> look, that's interesting. I look so happy when I run. I'm just hippity hoppity. Look at that. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Am I able to take these gold bars or anything? Or the silver or the copper? I can't. And it's minerals there. There's some crystals here. I can't take these as well. I did notice running around my animation when turning, it seems like I jitter a little bit. But this is a brand new dragon that was just added. So there's going to be some issues with it regardless. I have yet to hear the sounds. I have yet to fly. So I'm hoping that's going to be the make it scenario, but that could very well make it or break it. I'm sure there's lots of stuff around that we can explore, like these bags here that seem to respawn stuff. I'm not really even sure how I'm supposed to take items. I think I just drag them. Okay, all right. So I just drag them. So this is part of the MMORPG idea when it comes to this. There is a lot of stuff in this game that has MMORPG vibes, and I can read notes. I can pick up stuff. I have an inventory system. I have a crafting system, as you can see down right here. I can craft all of these items if I want. What they do, I'm not sure besides the stash, and well, that's just a fried egg, so you can make food too as well. This game is a little bit more than your average. I'm gonna eat, sleep, drink, and, and grow. This is a MMORPG dragon game. You play as a dragon in an open world MMORPG. So there's gonna be a lot of different stuff and I'm sure there's lots of chests here we could actually search and items to pick up. So that's what I'm gonna try and do. I am interested to see how many people are around as well. It looks like I've found two of them so far, maybe three. And, whoa, whoa, what was that? Is that your... Is that your special attack? Is that your right mouse? Is that my right mouse button? Oh, okay. All right. Well, I have a, a water bomb attack. Oh, that looks cool as hell. And he's sitting. That must be the sit animation. Because that's what I was going to check out next. So I was just waiting for it to get brighter. That's kind of pretty. That's kind of very pretty, actually. And he's using the feathered one, too, I think. Are you? You're using the feathered one. Yeah, he's using the feathered one. Ah, it's mine. That's the one I have. Yes. And he's using the headpiece as well. Don't really like the headpiece, but that's to each their own. There's a carcass here that I can eat as well in the... Wow, that animation's nice. There's a carcass here I can eat as well. As of right now, throughout the world, there's going to be carcasses and chunks of meat. Unfortunately, unlike the last build of the game, we are on a brand new map that's been custom made. And on top of that, unfortunately, they haven't added the AI yet. Unlike the other version of the game where we were able to kill AI. However, it was a little bit eh. Oh, it's so cool. I can go through like all of these bags and like there's always stuff in them or, you know, I have a chance to find stuff. That is really cool. Just took all of those items. I got a cup, I got a wooden bowl, and I just got a normal bowl uh, made of stone. I have a lot of items already. That's, <laughs> that's kind of cool. I kind of like this. Can I really drink from the water trough? Oh, that's cool. I like that. So that right away, they want to try and take care of the players that are just entering the world basically and making sure they're not too, you know, left to the wolves. That's pretty great. I did notice too, some of the trees, you see like blue stripes on them. That's bioluminescence. Those glow at night. I just didn't want to stick around too long with night gameplay because I know how much you guys hate it. I'm really curious to see if that's bioluminescent or if it's just like a very vibrant color, but that's really cool. Okay, I'm going to see what flight is like on this guy now. This is going to be a make it or break it moment because if it's not good, well, then we're going to know right off the bat. So, I, whoa, that guy's just up there hovering. That looks pretty damn good. That looks pretty fluid. I get that we don't have wings, so it's more of a mystical property to make us fly, but I mean, that's pretty damn cool. There's a little bit of lag and jittering, but that's to be expected with a new update. So for me to fly, I need to press spacebar and then F and I enter flight mode. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I um I really like the animation. I really like that's pretty cool. It's almost like I'm swimming through the air. That is uh Oh, I really like it. Oh, I have like a little dive and I can speed up too. They have velocity cranked up like crazy. That's scary. The clouds are up here. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Like oh man, I can get velocity so good. Oh my god! I can go so fast! Man, that animation is crisp! Look at that, that is so... Did not, at, in the slightest, expect such a crisp and nice fluid movement for animation. Oh, don't hit the trees! Oh boy! Uh, did I take damage? Oh, I took damage from hitting a tree! Look at that! Oh my god, it's taking a lot of health. Oh shit. Okay, so that's... Don't hit trees. Trees will kill you. It is not a good time. Okay, 
I'm going to try and see if I can bait this guy into doing his adult call when I do my baby call. Because I'm hoping they have two different variations. If they don't, well, then we'll know. Oh, that's cute. I don't know if it's a placeholder or not, but it's cute. And I like it. Whoa. Whoa, what are these guys doing over here? It looks like everyone chose my tail. Come on, do your call. I just want to hear. Oh, you are so pretty. Oh, you are gorgeous. Oh, there's variations in the calls too. That was different. Come on, you could... Not you. I want him to do it. Come on. Do your call. Do your call. Don't shake your head. Do your call. Oh my god, that one looks gorgeous. Never mind, you are important. That is such a, oh my god, that is such a nice color pattern. Man, some of these designs people are coming up with are beautiful. Like, that is gorgeous. It makes mine look like crap. Oh, I feel bad for choosing mine. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, ah, oh god, ah. Ah, I'm dying. Stop, stop, stop killing me. Stop, no, oh my god, I'm so close to death. How do I heal? So healing, you basically just sit down and over time you will heal your health bar. As you can see, it's regenerating right now. You need to have over half hunger though in order to do it. I did find a pretty cool spot too. Looks like I found some kind of cooking station. I was gonna say it was a forge, but it doesn't make sense for it to be a forge. All custom modeled. And we have a bunch of food over right there and more food right there as well. Kind of cool, I like it. I wonder, I really wonder if this is too scale of a human. Hello, how are you? I don't think you can fit through there, bud. Pushing H will make me lay down, which is cute. Okay, and then if I push J, it'll make me go into a sleep animation. Oh, I'm a little snake. Oh, it's cute. Oh, it's adorable. Oh, it's so cute. I do look good. Okay, never mind. I take it back. <laughs> like, I absolutely love the MMO vibes. They've made all kinds of huts. They've got fires in them. Looks like there's a gardening section here people are using to grow stuff. <gasps> Wait, is that... That's, that's, that's this thing. Can I plant one of these? How do I plant stuff? That is... Oh, and there's more of this. And I can pick it up or I can eat it. I'm gonna eat it. I hope it doesn't kill me. I don't know if I'll need these items in the future or not, but it doesn't hurt to have them. There's that gorgeous dragon we saw. And these are player stashes, so people are crafting stashes already and putting items in them. So right now, we've left the spawn location, and we're going towards the first quest zone. I think there's three quest zones in total right now in this game to help you level up. And leveling is a lot different, too. I probably should have touched base on that before I even started doing this. So the max level used to be level 20. My dragon was level 20 at its maximum size. The max level now, I believe, is 50 or 60. And I've heard conflicting reports where it can take up to two days to get fully grown doing quests doing your dailies doing whatever um or if you know exactly where to go on everything there have been people uh, been people who have speed run it and done it in like six hours but generally it seems that your dragon will have a lot of value once you grow it seeing as the growth time is a lot I need to take my time and gradually make my way down because I don't want to rock it into the ground anymore. There we go. Graceful as all hell. Oh, this is the quest rock. Okay, so you get a daily quest from using this. So I'll press E. Uh, deforestation quest accepted. And how do I see where this quest is now? Is that in here? There's notes deforestation oh okay i have to click on it so that's my quest log as you approach the rock formation the air around you starts to vibrate you can't hear a single sound but somehow you know which step you have to take next rewards 120 experience you need to gather 40 wood logs oh another dragon here to do a quest 40 logs is so much i feel like am i able to chop down trees as a dragon can i like water bomb them and make them blow up and just get splintered wood people are saying i need to go to the redwood forest in order to do this quest that makes sense because the redwoods would have huge trees so i'm gonna try and make my way to the redwood forest hopefully i'll find it oh i'm really curious did they leave the clouds in can we still go through these if you follow the path southwest from spawn village it'll take you straight into the forest okay uh southeast south southwest okay so i have to go that way what am i hearing is that that? Hello? What are you? Whoa, what is that? Some kind of shrine? An altar? Is that a respawn location? Whoa, that's kind of waypoint. Press E to use. Whoa! What? Can I can I click these and, and do something or 
Oh, I guess I need to find the waypoints and then maybe I could travel between them? Because they're grayed out right now. I probably have to find them and then I can go. Okay, all right, I, I need to find the waypoints. I'm just flying through the trees. It's a skull, my God, hello. Holy crap. <laughs> That's, I guess I should have assumed someone would do that. That's pretty sick. <laughs> that is so damn cool. Whoa. Okay, hello. How are you? I have to go southwest. Let's go down this way and try and get some of those logs so we can try and at least level up a little bit. That must be the path they were talking about there. Yeah, this looks like it would be the path. Man, I can fly so fast with this velocity mechanic. I love it. Oh, that's the redwood forest right there. I can see the giant trees. There should be lots of wood over there, hopefully. The path looks like it splits off into two different directions, but I'm going with the one that's going into this forest. What on earth is that? What are you? A cy cyprin deposit. Oh, I can harvest it. Okay. Am I... Oh, I'm actually picking that up. I'm picking up the ore. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so I gathered that. It seems like maybe that's just a placeholder animation where you bite it to collect it because it kind of doesn't make sense. But um, I mean, it's a start. It's a very good start, I think. And those trees are massive. Those are huge. I wouldn't even want to try and attempt to chop one of those down. God, holy crap. I think, are these custom assets too? These are massive. Like, absolutely astronomically huge. And all these trees and so little wood to collect for my quest. Wait, is that what I'm looking for right there? Those logs? Let me just land. A wood pile. Harvest? Okay, yeah, this is what I'm looking for then. But I'm getting branches, large sticks. But I specifically need wood logs. I'm, I got branches and sticks then from that. Branches and sticks. I don't know if I craft the wood logs somehow by using those materials or if I just got unlucky with my very first find. Large wood log. Okay, so then that gave me one log. This is going to be a pain to do this quest, I think. I'm probably going to be here for two hours trying to do this one quest. Oh wait, no, maybe not. It's giving me a lot more. Okay, so I got two wood logs. And then my quest journal is showing two out of 40. I'm going to try and fast forward a bit and complete this quest because it's going to be a pain in the ass to just watch me collect 40 of these. So unless something interesting happens, I will see you in a bit. There's a random campsite out here. Wait, is this water? Can I drink this? <gasps> yes, pure. Okay, it's a water purifier. Someone must have made that. That's so convenient. There's a little camp. Oh, wait, a note. Hang on. What is this? Uh, Luvana's note. I swear something was following us last night. These must be humans leaving behind these. And I'm guessing it's just the struggle of humans trying to survive in the world of dragons and a drake. Okay, so these are humans surviving in the woods on the outskirts away from dragons and drakes and wyverns and anything else. That is cool. So there's kind of a story then to this and why this shelter is here, but appears to be abandoned. And it also looks like this is dragon scale. That, okay, that makes so much sense. So there's humans in the world that are trying to survive as well. Not currently, not like right now, but the lore is that there's humans basically fledging for survival and trying their best to do it. They get a little mossy bed made up, a dragon scale uh, cover for it. That is cool. Okay, so now I'm in PVP mode. This is very dangerous as a baby dragon, but I don't think I can destroy any of this still. Yeah, so PvP mode doesn't change anything. You do need to have PvP mode enabled to destroy people's stashes and stuff and steal what they've gathered, but that's probably pretty dangerous. Oh, I need to harvest this meat. I can't just sit down and eat it. I need to actually pick up the pieces of meat. Okay, and then it goes into my inventory, and then from there, whoa, I got lungs and small meat. Can I eat? And I'll eat that again. Oh, I see my health bar or my hunger bar going up. Okay, that's cool. So you can bring food with you in your inventory. They should have more hotkeys. Can I can I assign this to hotkeys? That's kind of terrifying to be in PvP mode with so many large dragons around. And if I die, I lose everything in my inventory. That's definitely an incentive for someone to try and kill me if they're doing the same quest I'm doing, though. I've still only got two wood logs. Whoa, hello. Please don't see me. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, see you later, big guy. I won't be doing anything to you. <laughs> uh, just ignore me. I'm just doing my own thing. I managed to get above the clouds, and it's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. Oh, my sweet God. That is amazing. God, that looks so good. 
Damn, that looks so good. Am I still climbing? I'm still climbing. No way. I think this might be as high as I can get. No, I'm still, I think I'm still climbing. Oh my God. I don't, I don't know if it's because there's a storm underneath me or if it's because I'm so high. All I see is cloud volume now. No, it's definitely rain. I'm, I'm at the height. I'm as high as I can get now. Oh yeah, it's definitely a thunderstorm. Look at that. You can see the lightning through the clouds. That is so cool. And you can start to see the rain going down. So if you're above the clouds, you're not impacted by rain. You don't see the rain. You're not, it, nothing happens to you. I'm going straight down. Oh, water, water. Oh God. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> that was pretty sick. <laughs> There's the island over there. I need to go over there. Come on, fly. There we go. Oh God, that's really close. I don't think flying near the clouds is a good idea right now. <laughs> this is, oh my God. <laughs> Damn. Oh, it's so loud. My ears are bleeding. I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm screaming, but it's so loud. God, that is so cool. Look at that, man. It's just amazing. The lighting that hits the ground and it just, everything goes bright. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, that's way down there. I just need to follow that path down there and it'll take, whoa, that'll take me right to spawn, but that was like right next to spawn. I don't know if I want to go here anymore. Oh, this must be the smithy here. So this is where you would forge your metals into weapons using tools. That's pretty cool. Wait, so you mean to say all of this meat that I've been eating raw, I could have cooked this whole time. I just came to a fire then. This looks like it's the cooking area. Oh, look, a little cuddle puddle. Oh, your markings are so cool. Oh, it's getting dark. So players are taking out their scepters and any light source that they have. Oh, that is cute. And we're all just kind of sitting here chilling out. You have, whoa, that one is huge. That's gotta be a full adult. All right, let's see what the adult call sounds like compared to the baby and the sub-adult. Because we haven't... <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> it is so different compared to mine. It's such a deeper tone. <laughs> Man, the adult looks so good. So I wanted to jump into single player because on single player, I have a fully grown dragon. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get anywhere near growth in the multiplayer session because I just don't have time to do it. It seems like it would definitely take me about two days to get everything situated, especially if I have to collect 40 logs and I only get two logs an hour. Um, but anyways, I did want to take a moment just to show you the adult dragon and the adult version of its flying and all that stuff. The animation itself looks really fluid. I am very interested to see your thoughts on this because it's such a different take on a dragon. It's, there's no wings. There's nothing really saying this dragon should be flying. It's kind of just like a magical, mystical property that no one will ever understand. Unless maybe you do because you might know the lore of these creatures in general in the background. I noticed too, the adult now, at least on my single player session, is no longer doing the jittering. So that might be a, mul a multiplayer issue, or it could be the fact that my dragon was a juvenile and it could just be a small issue and they need to fix there. But it's very smooth using it right here, the way it is right now. The call obviously is dramatically different, but in the best way possible. I love the sound design, but from what I understand, that is just a placeholder sound until they make something a little bit different. I, I believe, unless they decide to keep this one, I'm not sure. I'm out of the loop by about a month or two, maybe. But that's what I gathered from that. And that, my friends, is everything I have for you today on Draconia. The new dragon is in a brand new world to explore. There's quests to do. I'm pretty impressed. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. As always, leave a like if you did enjoy Draconia and you want to see more of it in the future. And I will see you in the next one.